KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, March 25th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather much calmer today after a rough night last night. There's the upper air look across the country this morning. The wave that brought the severe weather to the state last night has moved on to the east. Pretty rough storms. This was the storm that came through Haleyville. This was a tornado-warned storm. Uh, no doubt a wall cloud there, maybe a funnel cloud, but apparently it didn't touch down because we had no reports of any major damage through uh, parts of Marion and Winston counties, really over the Tennessee Valley, thank goodness. That was a radar this morning. Things pretty quiet. That was at 456, the last of the rain showers through parts of central Alabama. That will be long gone by the time you watch this. Starting off today in the upper 50s for Cullman and Haleyville, 60s elsewhere. High should be in the 70s today. There's the watch warning map, pretty quiet across the country. Got some fog over Illinois and uh, red flag warnings to the west. That's for a wildfire danger. No severe weather across the country today. That's the good news. Tomorrow, a marginal risk for parts of Kansas and Missouri. Day three, a risk of severe storms in that same zone. Uh, Kansas, Missouri, some of the adjacent states down into Oklahoma. And on day four, this is Saturday. The SPC guys have moved that risk a little back to the west, just west of Alabama. And we'll talk about the weekend situation here shortly. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals for the northern half of the state. One to two inches for the north part of Alabama, less than one inch for the south. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. The OZ run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Wave on the Atlantic coast. That brought the storms last night. A dry northwest flow aloft. The sky's sunny today with highs in the 70s. Tomorrow, a sunny day, low to mid-80s. Beautiful day. Friday, warm and dry. We'll call it partly sunny. The high again, most likely in the mid-80s. A little summer preview. Saturday, a new storm forms to the west. A surface low is located north of Kansas City with a trailing front down into Texas. And this is suggesting a decent chunk of the day Saturday will be dry, warm with mid-80s. Maybe a shower, but again, mostly dry. This is Saturday night at midnight. The surface low is southeast of Des Moines with a band of showers and storms pressing in here. And it sure looks like the main chance of storms will be late Saturday night, maybe after 9, 10 o'clock. And this will likely be a linear event, a line of storms, and they could be strong, maybe producing strong winds. But with a surface low so far north, uh, typically not a classic tornado setup, so it looks like it could be stormy here uh, Saturday night. The main threat from strong winds, and then Sunday, that uh, cold front is on to the east, and we get back into dry air, and it will be cooler. The high Sunday should be in the low 70s. Now, early next week, models have been all over the board. This is Monday, the latest run of the GFS, suggesting showers mainly west of the state. And then Tuesday, a surface low comes right over Alabama with rain and thunderstorms. And again, this would not be severe weather for North Alabama with the surface low in that position. Maybe some strong storms for the Gulf Coast. But again, this will probably change. This is uh, the model consistency has not been good. This is the European, and you can see it's got the surface low near Houston on Tuesday. So model madness here. Wednesday, back to the GFS, traffic to the east. And if this is right, that would be cooler and drier. A lot of blues and greens if this verifies. Temperatures would be below average over the eastern half of the country. But again, uh, this might change. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, April 3rd, troughing to the east. And that looks dry and pleasant. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 2 and 3 inches for the next 15 days. Yeah, buddy, look at those 80s. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, then next week, highs mostly in the upper 60s on most days. And this is the CPC outlook for April 1st through April 7th. 
suggesting temperatures near average for most of Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.